Hello? Could, could I speak to Charlie Smith, please? Speaking. Let's have a look, mate. My stars tell me we're going to be rich, rich, rich. You all right, mate? Uh, yeah, uh... She never came back from club until about two this morning. I mean, by the time she fell asleep, it was nearly time for me to get ready for school. Why didn't you go into her room when she was out? I told you. She locked the door. Oh, wait a sec. She's not going to notice that they're gone, is she? Ah, she's got loads, man. Excellent. <laughs> and then the boy who took it claimed he was only looking after it so no one else could steal it. <laughs> Oh, you used a great night, Margaret. We had such a laugh. Oh, really? Well, I don't know what you did to die. He's phoned in sick. We didn't do anything. In fact, he left early. Ooh, lucky your fiancé was there. Otherwise, we would have never had another round. <laughs> That's something I said. No. She's under a lot of stress. Oh, there you are. What do you think of it? Of what? A blank screen. Did you change your password or something? No. Then where's the website? I... I don't understand. It's gone. Ten out of ten. I had it all on. And now you've lost it. I didn't lose it. I coded everything and put it here. Funny that, because it's not here now. I knew we should not have got a year eight to do it. What did I tell you? But you said I was a genius. But how else could it have happened, Martin? It was here when we left it, and now it's gone. And the only person to go anywhere near it was you. Who else could have done it? Was it an alien? Oh, maybe it was an alien, eh? I, I don't know who did it. An alien couldn't have done it. Stop talking so Why can't he admit Max, it? Max, that's enough. No, but it's not enough. Martin, were you or weren't you the last person on it? I was. I rest my case. It's OK, Martin. Anyone can make a mistake. Go away. I, I don't make mistakes. What did you do that for? You know he's got Spurgeons. Now what are we going to do? I'll go after him. Lee, you've got a minute. Sorry, Shannon, not now. They didn't mean it! No one's bad. Please. Telling them that I'm free. I did not! My Spurgeons is none of your business. And it's me again, Bryony. Can you call me, please? As Grant Hill's star pupil, I try. So, how many up for a spot of clubbing this evening, then? It's ready. Yeah, well, the sound system's in and my artwork's up, so we come like a private party, I guess. Definitely count us three in, then. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, we better ask Lise. Let's go around next period. Haven't you got English? Yeah. Black Carver, no problem. I was wondering, Claire, would you like to come to the club tonight? I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. Well, hey, Mr. Hartson, you old smoothie, you? No, Brian is the lucky lady. He's in the office for you. Oh, bless him. It's our anniversary. Guess what I've got? An interview? From the USC. My first choice. <laughs> That's brilliant, babe. Why don't you all come down to the club tonight, then? It'll be one of those joint celebration things. And you can all have a look at me up while you're at it. You're on. Fix, can I have a word? Look, I can't make tonight. I've got to work. It's OK, I'm anyway. So, uh, Claire, have you had enough time to think about it? No. Oh. oh, Margaret, glad I caught you. I just wanted to say sorry about last night. Michael was really upset that he missed you. Why didn't you tell me he was going to be there? Well, I thought you were coming and I wanted it to be a surprise. Hello. How many have you ticked off so far? Pardon? I left a list of things I needed done in your pigeonhole. Did you? Perhaps I'd better go and retrieve it. You do that. Don't take it personally. I'll try not to. First off, we've got to find a way of advertising what we're selling. Yeah, but without making the teachers suspicious. What about if we sort them into their different signs and maybe we'll get an idea? Mm. All right, Leah. Yeah. You take Scorpio or Gemini. Oh, and then you're I'll selling those. Uh, could be. How much do you want for them? Uh, 60p each. You got the friendship money cards for a brown tourist? Yeah, I'm gonna sit quite there. You okay here if I keep a lookout? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. Do you see? Thanks. <laughs> Alright, who's next? 60p each. Free for £1.50. That's the advertising sorted. I don't want to talk to you. Martin! Wait! Martin! Look, about earlier. 
on. Max was just upset. He spent so long on those designs. So did I. I did everything I was supposed to. I stayed late and I got it all on. I know you did. So why is he calling me a liar? Look, we're having a meeting at lunchtime. Why don't you come and we'll try and sort it out? It's probably just a glitch or something. It's not a glitch. How many times do I have to tell you? Nobody listens to me. What is his problem? What's going on with Martin? We're going to need your help, Josh. <clears throat> just stopping cars, miss. You know what, boys? I didn't just fall out of a gum tree, so I'll ask you again. What are you up to? Uh, you see, the thing is, miss, um, swapping cards isn't all we're doing. Darren! Hey, carry on, Darren. We knew that girls liked him, so we thought if we could meet him and get to know him, maybe we could ask him out. Y y yeah, yeah, um, we're doing this to get dates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very ingenious, lads, but just remember I'm watching you. What are you doing this weekend, miss? Don't push it. Let's face it, she's not in. Maybe the bell isn't working. Oh, she's probably just gone down in the shops. Here, May, where are her note about the club? I mean, she'll kill us if we don't tell her. Give her a call, Tom. She might be in the bathroom or something. Lise? Hello? Lisa? Hello? I'm going to be passing this around and all those people that want to see Hamlet at Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, please write your name in the left-hand column. Martin, you know this website business? It wasn't a glitch, but how could it have happened? Someone else must have accessed the system. Yeah, but who and how? I mean, can you find out who did it? It's easy. You've just got to follow the footprints. Oi, read it and pass it on. You sure? Yeah, it's true. Who is he? The one that hangs around with those two boys. One's called Cracker. A little less chat, please, if you don't mind. <laughs> have you seen them, then? How could I have seen them? He's only got one. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? No talking, miss. But you didn't say anything about not laughing. <laughs> What are you doing that I'm not? What do you mean? Well, look at you and Nathan. You live miles apart and yet you still manage to spend time together. He sends you beautiful flowers. He remembers stuff. Where's Danny? Oh, Vicky, come on. You just need to see the way he looks at you to know how much he thinks of you. I know it's difficult for him, but a gesture every now and then might help. Look, why don't you suggest he comes with you for your interview? Make a romantic day of it. Doesn't he want to go to USC as well? Yeah, good idea. Oh, you always think him, Vicky. Just look upon me as your average everyday genius. Now, I'm off to put these babies in water before they shrivel up and die. Oi, have you two said anything? About what? Oh, like I've got a lot of secrets or what? About your operation? Yeah, who have you been blabbing to? No one. So how comes I can't walk anywhere around here without people pointing and laughing at me? Don't you think getting just a tad paranoid here? He's right. They laugh at each other's shoes at this age. Everything sets them off. <laughs> Look there, you see what I mean? What? Look, we're the only ones that know. Who ever told anybody? You're paranoid. You can tell by the way he moves. He's only half a man. Oh, paranoid, am I? Well, I am now. Oh, imagine if you were his girlfriend. I'm gonna sort this. No, just leave it, please. You think cancer the testicles is funny, do you? Yeah, great one, mate. Make it ten times worse. Typical. Just the person I wanted to see. Miss Carvel. Oh, you remember my name. 
Yeah? Only it wouldn't surprise me if you couldn't. You've missed so many of my lessons already this term. Now, miss, don't turn Ad Robertson on me. Come with me. I'm sorry. Hey, look, it's okay. Matt! So, is there something about me? No, it's me, miss. Well, what is it? Nothing. I just, I just feel a bit old for this life. What do you mean? School life. Being told what to do all the time. I haven't any money. Hmm. Do you have another life plan in mind? Could get a job. Doing what? I don't know. But I'm sure there's plenty of things out there I could do. I'm not stupid. No, I know you're not, but you would be stupid leaving without qualifications. It's too risky. I just feel like I'm treading on water all the time. Don't. Stick at it, please, Sam. I've, I've watched you getting better and better over the years. Don't go and blow it now. What if I help you? Give you some extra tutoring? You'd do that for me? Yes, I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> well... As soon as it's you, Miss Carver, I might be able to be persuaded. Marvellous. Let's make a start, then. I'm afraid I don't know anything about you, but I'd really love to meet you. I'd really like to meet you. Very much. Amy! I thought we made it up. So did I. So why aren't you talking to me? Why aren't you talking to me more like? Our mum see more of each other than we do. What do you mean? Your mum was around my house last night. Didn't you know? It was all very chummy. They were whispering away to each other when I came in. Didn't even know she'd gone round to yours. Didn't she say anything? No, nothing. What were they talking about? Anika, we'll be late. <sighs> Look, I've really got to go. But I'll meet you later, maybe go for a coffee? Yeah, whatever. My mum won't really talk about you. In fact, she won't really talk about anything anymore. I think we've reached a stage where we'd be better off apart. So, when did you find out? Last year. She never been so scared in all my life. So you had to have the operation and everything? Yeah. And I've lived with the embarrassment ever since. Look, you can't control the gossip, but it says more about them than it does you. Yeah, right. Matt, I'm serious. To go through everything you did and still be here, well, that's incredibly brave. Braver than any of those dimwits in there. Am I? I don't even know if I survived this yet. I've got to go for a checkup next week, and to be honest, I'm not feeling very brave at all. Yeah, you are. Look, if you're brave enough to stand up here looking like Romeo and Juliet, then you can face anything. I'm sorry about your flowers. Hey, they're just flowers. It's more where they came from. Look, it'll be fine. We can sort it somehow. But we can't without Martin and he won't come back. Thanks to you. No, it wasn't me who lost it. Martin's not a liar. He thinks someone else is responsible. But I'm the only other person with a password. Who else could it be? Everything all right? Actually, sir. It's just fine if we could be left to get on with it. I see. I'll leave you to it then. But at some point in the very near future, I'd like to see what you've done. You should have told him. Why didn't you just say? Because I didn't want him to think we're useless. We are without Martin. So, I think someone's got a bit of apologising to do. Sorry about earlier, mate. I did go on both feet. Uh, you just acted like you always do. I was a good friend. Hey, I was thinking about calling on Lisa on the way home, see if she wants to come to this club tonight. Yeah, tell her to get her glad rags on. So what do you reckon? USC next week, just you and me? Be great. We can look around the university together, check out a few things for your course. Vicky, I, uh... I didn't send off my application. What? I can't afford it. What with mum and everything, it's just not the right time. But we've made plans. We can still keep them. 
We can make it work, just like Bryony and Nathan have. All right, my children, I'm off now. I'll, I'll see you at the club tonight, yeah? What's the matter, Vix? Danny, you can't afford to go to college this year. Yeah, I know. It's a bummer, isn't it? You discussed it with him before me. Unbelievable. Vicky! Ah. I'm sorry, mate. Oh. Vicky! You told Carl first. You were so caught up in your work. I didn't want to stress you out. You just don't get it, do you? If we don't tell each other things like this, then what hope have we got? You've got to understand my situation with my mum I'm and... sick of understanding. What about me? Where does what I want figure? I'm not stopping you from doing what you want. You have no idea what I want. Firstly, I don't want to go to university on my own, so I won't bother with this stupid interview. And secondly, I can't bear to be the one doing all the running in this relationship. So I quit. What are you doing? None of your business. If you tell me, I might be able to help. I've lost my notebook. Have you seen it? No, I... Sorry. Martin? Please come back. We really need you. But what happens when you don't need me anymore? Why'd you say that? You'll get rid of me because of my Asperger's. We don't want to get rid of you. If only you knew how much people admire you. Really? I wish I could do half the things you can on a computer. But it's easy. Well, to you, but not to me. And there are things that are easier to me than they are to you. It's just the way it goes. We'll help you look for your notebook, Martin. Whatever happens, you've got friends. Are you coming back? What is this? Well, I thought we should try and eat things that were a bit better for us. What do you think? I think you must be trying to butter me up. No, I meant every word of it. I can't remember whether you like beetroot. It's OK. But is this something you want to tell me? And don't just yes. fob me... What is it? I have to go to hospital. Why? What's the matter? I've got to have a hysterectomy. It's a common operation. Lots of women my age have it. I'll only be in a week or so. Mum, I'm sorry. Yeah, you will be, because they told me I can't do the hoovering for six months afterwards. Why didn't you tell me before? God, I didn't like to worry you, and I wanted to get things sorted out first. Anika's mum says you can stay with them while I'm away. Oh, I see. Mum, you will be all right. Of course. Look, I'm really sorry, Martin. It's OK. There's the user. There. But who is it? We just need to check the security log. It looks like it belongs to a member of staff. Unbelievable. And I thought we were the only ones with access. But which member of staff? Die! Oh, but he doesn't even know what he's doing. And he was off sick today. <sighs> right, this means war. Jane! <laughs> Lovely to see you. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, fine, fine. They scanned my brain, probably checking to see if there's anything there, <laughs> but they still haven't told me the full extent of the damage. Though. Well, that's terrible. You should tell them what an important job you have. Very funny. We all miss you. Kids keep asking after you. Well, that's probably because they're just keen to know how long I'm going to be stuck in here and out of their hair. Actually, they think you're a bit of a hero. A hero? Better not see me like this, then. How are you? Yeah, OK. I've um, managed to convince Cracker to actually attend my lessons for a change. <laughs> I think it's going to take up most of my free time, though. Oh. Doesn't seem all that long since he was in Year 7, parading around the school, dressed up as Margaret. <laughs> Did it rather well, as I recall. They grow up so fast, don't they? No time at all. They're off to who knows where in life. I'm glad we're part of that. Bumped into Matt earlier. 
Yeah? Yeah, he said he'd call round and there was no answer. Must have been in the garden. He also said that he and the lads called round this morning and you were out. I've had a busy day. I could give you a lift to the club and wait for you, if you like. No, it's... Round it's... the corner so no one will see. No, it's, it's just, you know, I don't fancy it. Um, not with my face looking like this. Vicky has to do that interview. <laughs> Doesn't look like Danny's going to take her, though. Yeah, but we can. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Well, this is just an excuse for you to go and see Nathan. Well, it would be a shame to go all that way and not see him. Yeah, right. And I haven't seen his new flat yet. Carl's coming over. So? Do you think he fancies you? No. You can go there. I see you change your mind, Claire, so... What do you reckon? Not bad. Carl, what are you doing next Friday? Why? Fancy driving us to USC for the day? Oh, Bryony? What, both of you? And Vicky. Well, I can be persuaded. I've just got to go and have a quick word with the manager, so, um, catch you later, yeah? Excuse me, ladies. He fancies you. <laughs> he does not. He just feels embarrassed for conning me about that ethnic project. Looks like we better put someone out of their misery. Vicky, you have to go for this interview. No, oh, I don't know, B. I'm not sure about anything anymore. But I have a plan. And she's not taking no for an answer. No, like I say, you've done a wonderful job. Is that how you make your living or do you have a day job? Oh, well, I have to fess up here, mate. Well, don't tell me. This is Turner Prize winner. Nah, I wish. I'm still at school. Really? Where? Well, I've just moved there. Grain Chill, you heard of it? Oh, yeah. I've heard of it. 